Usually I like to start these videos with a bit of trauma from the last week, but honestly, I kind of killed so many things last week. It was easy sailing. No trauma here. hunts. Welcome back, Classic Crew, to a Monster Hunter journal where I journey through Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate trying to fight and kill every monster. Last time we talked, I had 24 less left on the list. Today there's 19. Your boy HJ has been quite busy. <laughs> So this past week, I killed a bunch of Durham Boros. I don't know why. I thought I was one quest away from unlocking the nine star high rank, but, and I, I, I wasn't. Cause I killed two Durham Boros thinking that was the key quest. Nothing happened. So then I went for the one Durham Boros and nothing happened. And this is what I get for AK guessing. People are like, just look up the key quest. I'm like, I could look up the key quest. That would be in more efficient time. Or I can try to guess it and have fun killing things along the way. And then there was the laggy quest and I was not looking forward to fighting a full high rank laggy because that thing scarred me. It's the only thing that made me fail a quest on my entire journey of 3U. Laggy is the thing that killed me. And so to go back, I was like, oh, even though I got my nice switch axe, I don't want to like jinx it and kill the laggy or fight the laggy because he's, he's going to kill me. I went into it with so much fear in my heart and it went so smooth. We were on the deserted aisles, so the water was clean, and I was just cracking his legs, cracking his face, cracking his back, cracking his tail. Actually, the tail came off, but it was easy. Like, he was on land quite a bit, and I was just like, smack, 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 and he died. Um, I think within 10, 15 minutes. Like, everything I hunted was dying within at least 15 minutes. Um, maybe at most, I meant at most 15 minutes. It, it was just pretty smooth. So I finally uh, unlock nine or the urgent rank first, the urgent quest, which is, is an ogre. And I was like, oh, no, I don't think I'm ready for Zenogre. I still have trauma from this boy destroying me in Rise. He was scary in World. What's it going to be like in 3U? Is he still going to be the same speed? Because I certainly am not the same speed as Rise or 3U and uh or rise and world and i have to say he moves fast i was expecting them to dial him back a bit or have i was expecting him to be slower because we are in the old world here but man he was moving fast and doing his disco stuff and i was like it's it's the same beast it's the same Zenogre. they just they never changed him through generations and he was just like disco throwing throwing his body on me and I, I was getting tossed around i don't know how i survived it i got a little smarter i think just like being a little bit more uh dodging him but i was stressed that thing comes at you fast it's aggressive but it's got that awesome music. I still love that his theme song's there. I think I prefer the theme song in the newer games. I think it just has more of an oomph to it. Um, this one, like, you know, there was the key part, the dun, 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 but I didn't, like, it didn't hit me as much as in World or Rise. Um, so I'm not sure why. But the fight was fun. It was the first time I actually got to remove um, the bug off his back. So when he fell, I had my net out and I was like, shoop, and I got it. I don't know what I can do with it, but that's cool. Cause I had always heard since world that you can pick the bugs off his back. Um, but this is the first time I actually did it. So oh, Zenogre nice. fell, that, that felt like a huge victory. And then we unlocked nine star. We are at the final slice of high rank. Finally, I'm so excited to be here. Um, and I had three new monsters ahead of me. I had a sand berry off, which I was like, no, thank you. Um, an Azor Rathlos, which also I was like, Whoa. and then an Argyakuga, which I did not know was in this game. So that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, so we went for Sand Barioth because I did a poll and that's what chat voted for. And I'm glad they did because I really don't like Sand Barioth. He's just terrible. Like whether it's Barioth or Sand Barioth, I don't like it. And I can tell you exactly why. So Sand Barioth exists and I will run to him and I'm about to swing and then he exists over there. And then I go over there and then he exists over there. And it's just like, and finally I like get close to him and he just like tornadoes me or kicks me. And it's always, I get close, he runs away, or I get close, he smacks me. Never really much in between. So it's just a really tedious fight. And then sometimes I finally get into him and then through him comes a stupid little monster that wants to be like noticed. He's like, notice me senpai and um, headbutts you. And that's the most frustrating. So Sand Barioth is even uglier than his like ice variant or version of himself. Um, and then he does these cool like tornadoes that he like actually jumps into and spins. I have to say that is quite cute and quite cool, uh, but he's still a frustrating fight. And I really don't enjoy the sand barrier or any barrier in 3U. I don't remember hating him that much in world. So I don't know if they've like changed him or what, 
but man, in three, I just don't like them. Then I went to Azure Rathalos, which was another one that I'm like, oh, this is going to be bad because Azure Rathalos is a pain in world. I absolutely hate this thing because it's it's like a Rathalos, but it's always in the air. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be terrible. So we spawn in the nest. I'm like, I got this. I'm just going to hold his egg. And then he's, he's going to have to fight me in his nest all the time, just like the Rathian and the Rathalos. Man, this boy is a bad father. Azure Rathalos couldn't give two cents about his eggs. I held that egg for like a minute staring at the sky like, huh? Huh? Yeah. You're going to come and fight me? Nope. He doesn't care. Probably not his kid. So we had to actually track him down and chase him around. And I, halfway into the fight, I learned Devil Joes on this map to make things better. And I didn't have any poo on me, so I what had to somehow like hit Azerathlos no. while avoiding Devil Joe. Oh my goodness! Poo. How did I survive this night? As I'm reflecting, I was like, I, I was put in a lot of difficult positions, but I made it through. Somehow I got a lot of hits on Azerathlos. He wasn't that ridiculous. The hardest part of that fight was managing Devil Joe with Azerathlos, but Azerathlos was fine. Um, I actually quite enjoyed the fight. It was like just a normal Rathalos, but he looked cooler because he's blue, and blue is better than red. Um, then I went into Nargakuga, and this fight, I wasn't sure what to expect, because in World, Nargakuga didn't leave an impression. In Rise, he didn't really leave much of an impression either. But man, in this one, he's he's fast. Like, he's he felt as fast as an ogre. I was like, oh man, what's with all these fast beasts now that we're getting close to endgame? Um, but otherwise, first attempt, I kind of knew his movesets. He got me quite a few times with his tail, but once I remembered that, oh yeah, his tail is long and hits you <laughs> a lot if you're not careful, um, I managed to get around that and knocked him out. So bam, four monsters down, 20 left. Um, and then I, I was like, okay, what can I do to like knock out maybe a, a nice easy one before the end of the night? Or no, it was my, my switch axe was killing everything so fast. I was like, oh, what else do we have in the... Um, on the list that I could knock out quick. And I was like, oh, that's Cetus from low rank. Let's go pay him a visit and knock him out quick. I spent 30 minutes wailing on that whale. Ah, I always forget about that joke, but it's a good one still. And I was just like axing, axing, like just smacking him over and over. And I actually did not slay him in the 30 minute window. With my slime axe, I got his beard off. I got his, I broke everything on this whale and he did not die. I Dragonated him once. I think I missed him another time. So I went back a second time and I had to fight a whole other seven minutes. I was just like, how much HP does this thing have? This is ridiculous. And I finally killed Cetus. So that one wasn't like anything great. I mean, I'm, I'm literally beating an old whale in low rank, but it's part of the pledge and I had to finish it. So that brought us to five. With all that said, I have my eyesight on the next kind of, um, I guess the next big barrier, which is going to be an ivory laggy. And I don't know if it's a lot harder, but the chat seemed to be going like, woo, woo, woo. So I think that's going to be a scary one. I've also unlocked a few new variants for next week. So I've got Glacial Aknactor, Black Diablos, Steel Uragon. So I've got those four and the Devil Joe that's still on the menu. Um, that's five coming up for tonight when this video releases. And uh, if I manage to go through all this, we will be down to 14 monsters. So we're in the like, let's just clear through the high rank list because man, it felt like I was in the mid 20s for the longest time. But now we're making the subtraction, making the pledge move forward. And uh, let's see, these five, I don't know if this is going to take me to the end of high rank or if there's still a lot more. I could be. But I feel that I will see the end of high rank, if not this stream, next stream. It's got to happen soon. We got to be close to the end of this high rank. So I'll see you either on the stream or on the next journal. And until next time, keep it classy. Do, 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 do,